Now, the big question when it comes to this coronavirus outbreak is when will the country truly reopen? Things are practically at a standstill. Businesses and schools are closed. We still have this stay at home order in effect. And President Trump said he hopes to reopen parts of the country by May 1st or maybe even earlier. But Dr. Anthony Fauci says that date is, quote, a bit overly optimistic. Now, Governor Eric Holcomb says social distancing is helping to flatten the curve, but this week is crucial in deciding what happens next. The governor has said he'd revisit this stay-at-home order a little later this week. It's set to expire on Monday. And Congressman Trey Hollingsworth described more Americans losing their lives to the virus as the lesser of two evils compared to economic disaster. In an interview with WIBC, the U.S. rep from Indiana said he appreciates what scientists are telling them about the virus, but that it's time to get people back to work because it's the best decision. It is policymakers' decision to put on our big boy and big girl pants and say, this is the lesser of these two evils, and it is not zero evil, but it is the lesser of these evils, and we intend to move forward that direction. So Hollingsworth, we reached out to him for further comment. A statement from his office says, quote, we can use the best of biology and economics to enable as much of the economy to operate as possible while we work to minimize disease transmission. Now, 13 investigates talked with the Indiana Black Caucus. The group says African-Americans make up 20 percent of Indiana's COVID-19 deaths while making up just 9.8 percent of the state's population. They cited several reasons for these dis, uh, uh, disproportionate numbers, including lack of access to health care, no health insurance, and systemic bias in the health care system. And the group listed eight recommendations it was sending to Governor Holcomb and the state health commissioner to try and fix this. So we do have some cancellations to report to you in Madison County during this stay-at-home order. In Anderson, the citywide cleanup, all of the park department's summer camps, the July 3rd parade and fireworks are canceled, as well as the downtown concert series and Mayor's annual charity ball. And now it's time for your morning rush. Want to get you caught up on what a few businesses around the country are doing to help during this pandemic. Starting right here in Indiana, more than 1,400 Hoosiers lined up for free food at the Gleaners Food Bank. Gleaner is giving away more than twice as much food now as it did before COVID-19. Now, all of the extra food is adding about $600,000 to Gleaner's monthly food bill. That is just staggering. And the food bank is pleading for donations. And in Greenfield, Honda Manufacturing Plant is making intubator intubation hoods, that is, to help local hospitals. The hoods are a clear plastic material with holes in the back to protect doctors and nurses while attending to patients. And lastly, General Motors is planning to start delivering ventilators to FEMA this week. That's ahead of schedule. And those ventilators are being made right in Indiana at the GM facility in Kokomo. And today's the day millions of Americans could get those stimulus checks. And we know a lot of you have questions about that money. Meredith is working to get some answers for us this morning. Meredith. Hey, good morning, Julia. Yes, yeah, so Bill reached out to us on Twitter asking, what if someone has been paying back taxes the last several years, even though they filed like normal every year? So basically asking, what happens if you owe the government money? Well, this is what we found. The federal government is not gonna take any of the money out of the stimulus check to pay back their taxes. So even if you owe the government a certain amount of money, you're still gonna get that full stimulus check. What we did find though, is if you owe on child support, that is where you're gonna see your stimulus check diminished because they're gonna pay themselves or pay the person to whom you owe your child support money. Also getting a lot of questions like this. What do I do if the IRS does not have my direct deposit info, but I don't wanna wait for a check in the mail? So all those people who are waking up this morning with the stimulus check in their bank accounts have set up direct deposit with the IRS possibly the last time that they filed their taxes to get their tax return. It's actually eight in 10 taxpayers who have direct deposits set up on their tax refunds. However, if you don't have that and you don't wanna wait until this summer to get that stimulus check, the IRS is saying they're, they're hoping to set up an online portal as soon as this Friday 
for you to give your bank account information so that you can get that stimulus payment um, electronically. But please continue to, to shoot us your questions. You can tweet at us using the hashtag 13sunrise. You can message our Facebook page. I monitor all of these and we'll try to give you the best answer that we can find, Julia. All right, Meredith, thanks. Some uh, great answers there. Appreciate it. We've also posted several stimulus check resources for you at WTHR.com slash coronavirus. Well, if you do have to get out there this morning, check